I'm at Hoyt Arboretum in Washington Park with Martin, who's the curator of Hoyt. And how are you doing? Very well, thanks. Great. And so there is actually a new planting here right behind us. And yep. what tree is this? So this is a uh, Port Orford cedar. So Camacypris lawsoniana, or Lawson cypress, people call it as well. And it's really special because it's resistant to a disease that's really been plaguing Oregon and the whole kind of Northwest over many years. Yeah, so um, the Port Orford cedars get a uh, Phytophthora disease. Um, Phytophthora lateralis or lateral root rot mm. and it was first detected way back in like 1923 but it wow. slowly spread all the way down the west coast and has been a really big problem for this tree which is native to Oregon and in fact is only found you know, in the wild in southern Oregon and a little bit of northern California so it has a huge impact on the native population wow. but also in our ability to use it as a, an ornamental tree as well. Oh yeah definitely and the homeowners they've been seeing problems for many years so what's been going on in the research and breeding area there's been so much um, uh, excitement. Yeah so one of the great things is that um, uh, People started to observe um, as trees were dying in certain areas that there were some resistant trees that were showing up. So initial partners were the Bureau of Land Management and the um, U.S. Forest Service. And so, and then Oregon State University um, was involved as well early on. And um, they started to screen and, and find disease resistant trees that they were then um, used as part of a breeding program. And then um, we're partnering with the U.S. Forest Service through the American Public Gardens Association. And so one of the things that um, public gardens can do really well is we can um, share information about the trees through great interpretive signage. And then we can also grow some of these resistant um, trees and we're screening um, to see if the trees will survive in this location. Um, because we used to have a really nice stand of Port Orford cedars did, yeah. here at the Hoyt Arboretum. And over the last uh, 20 years, they're basically almost all gone. We're down to our last three of the original planting. And they're right behind us. They are, and, um, off, and one of them is already um, pretty sick. And you can usually, see that, yeah. yeah, by the time you see the foliage start to turn, um, the root disease has actually already decimated the roots. And then with the summer dry, we'll basically see the tree go from just a little bit of flaying to completely dead. And by that point in time, it's really hard to do anything to save the tree because the roots are already oh. so destroyed. Right. So. Well, you said one of the um, Bureau of Land Management people has a kind of a tip for us homeowners. So what, what can we do to yeah. help? If so one thing I just heard about last week from one of the researchers that's involved in the project is she said they have actually seen some um, impact with using western red cedar, bark and, and wood chips as a mulch underneath Port Orford cedars. It seems to lower the um, level of the disease in the soil and can maybe protect your trees for a little bit longer. Oh, so cousins helping cousins maybe. Yeah, they're sort of, you know, distant <laughs> relatives for sure. sure yeah, so, so and for, for whatever reason, the western red bark has some chemical in it that is able to help reduce the presence of the phytophthora. So, oh, very. Yeah. Well, that's really wonderful that we can yeah. try that at our own home. So that's great. Yeah. And so where are we? What trail? Can we come and see the interpretive signage and this new tree? Yeah, so we're on the Redwood Trail. Um, basically, it's pretty easy to find. It's one of our probably pretty popular trails in the Arboretum. Um, you can get it from Fisher Lane. Um, you can stop in the visitor center and grab a map and you can find out where it is. And then you'll find this uh, new, new sign along the side of the trail and the little uh, disease resistant tree. It's still very small. It's it only, is, a little baby. only a couple of feet yet, but, uh, but it's getting there and, uh, oh, and sure. we're hoping that it's going to grow here and, and not show any signs of the disease. Uh, yeah. Well, we can be a part of all that observation. So that's really interesting that Martin has told us all that history. You can come to Hoyt Arboretum. It's always wonderful to come here and walk in the wilderness and out in the woods and see the collections. Check out this interpretive signage and see the new tree and kind of watch it every year with your family and friends. Thanks yeah. so much and really congratulations. Yeah, thanks for coming out today. It's awesome.